The community here in Utah, the, the people here are what helped me to see what was truly important in my life. A young Utah man is either really lucky or unlucky, depending on your perspective. After surviving the Paris and Boston bombings, the third terror attack he witnessed almost took his life. And that bombing in Brussels also changed his life forever. Mason Welsh just graduated from the Naval Academy with a greater desire to protect our great nation. There is true good and there is true evil in the world. And I came face to face with that evil. And I'm a survivor of that evil. And now I'm more than happy and I'm willing and I'm able to fight against that evil. So it was your hand and your foot that were injured? Something big like a bolt hit my left heel, shattered my heel bone, ruptured my Achilles tendon. So I mean, I was in, I was in pretty bad shape. I had two choices to make that day in Brussels. I, I could have chosen to have been bitter and angry and resentful, or I could choose to forgive and I could choose to make the best of what I had. I think I spent more time before my injuries waiting for things to happen to me, but now I'm much more proactive because I've realized that if I want to really determine my destiny, I need to go out and grab it. I need to go out and chase it. The doctors told you at one point that you'd never run again. They were wrong. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. Do you have any lingering physical issues? Not anymore, no. I've completely returned to life as a normal person. What would you say are some of the things that you went through that got you from that guy to this guy? A lot of stress, a lot of late nights doing aerospace engineering homework. Um, a lot of good people uh, got, me, got me through that time. That's kind of what I had to do at the Naval Academy is I had to find my stride. I had, to, I had to recognize what my capabilities were, but also my limitations, and I had to pace myself. Mason Wells with limitations? <laughs> what in the world? Please. What's all this stuff here? One of these coins is really special to me. Um, it's actually from the late Senator Orrin Hatch. And he said, Mason, no matter what happens, don't give up on those aspirations. Um, because the tragedy of life is not in falling short of your goals. The real tragedy in life is having no goals to reach. What are you most excited about moving forward here? Starting a family. Marriage, obviously, my wife. So my wife, Cassidy, is amazing. And I'm excited to both start a family with her and, and also see what the Navy has in store for me. Now that I'm married, right, I've, I've been married for two weeks, my accomplishments are now my spouse's accomplishments. Yeah, she'll, I'm sure, let you know where your shortcomings are as far as <laughs> selfishness and empathy. <laughs> she already has. <laughs> little by little, they help us learn quite a bit. Now, the things I try to do are strengthen my faith, strengthen my personal convictions so that if I do go through more difficult times, God forbid, I'm ready for them. An inspirational young man. So just right after marriage and graduation from Annapolis, both of them moved to their assignments. He went to Pensacola to become a pilot. She's in Mayport. She's now stationed in Mayport, Florida. So they're on opposite coast in Florida, separated. But he's so optimistic, he said, we'll be able to do, deal with this. This is what we expected. We knew the deal when we signed up.